2121 Southeast Second Terrace. Nice street, very uniform, well kept looking homes. So right down the street from here, this is fresh water, but there is a um, saltwater boat ramp right down the street here at Rosen Park. Uh, this is a stamped on the concrete and you can see it's starting to come and peel up. It's got continuous curbing. My biggest concern when I pulled up is a three tab roof from 2001. So that's a 19 year old three tab roof. Insurance is gonna be actual cash value on that. This is a wood look tile when you first come in, a nice little entryway here. This is looking back out to the front. Double entry doors, you can put some glass in them and get some more natural light. Nice crown molding throughout, matching light fixtures. This is the tile on a diagonal. I mean, it could use a good cleaning and some painting. Um, but it's priced at two ninety-eight. It's been on the market two days. This is how many showings it's had. And there's already multiple offers. So they removed the dome ceiling in the kitchen and did some really nice cabinetry. Not much of an overhang here to put a chair though. Um, so they've got a pub table sitting here. Nice recessed lights. This is your family room. That's a sun tube. So that's actual daylight coming in from a sun tube. So this is a family room over here. Nice outdoor living space. You do have some vaulted ceilings. Let's go into the laundry real quick. Old set of washer and dryer. Um, they priced this to move quickly. They had a job change. And, huh, we have a tanning bed. You do have a walk door out to the side yard. Let's just go this side of the house. Split floor plan, which is great. This is the wood look tile. This is a nice size bedroom. Get a recliner, full size bed. These are walk-in closets in this floor plan, which is nice. Yeah, definitely could use some paint and a good cleaning. And they put the ironing board in the wall in the in the bedroom. I guess that's a good idea because you get dressed and iron in your bedroom. Uh, yes, bath is also a pool bath. That's very important to have. So when you're in and out, you don't have people tracking through your house. So that's really nice. This is a big under truss area. This is a really nice area. You can see how much furniture they have. Let's go back and look at this other guest bedroom. That is a pocket door there. So this guest bedroom, that's just a full size bed and dresser. And this should be a walk-in closet as well. And it is, you know, like all these doors, either a fresh coat of paint or a magic eraser would clean them up nicely. So looking back again, this dining area, family room area. Let's take a good look at the kitchen. This is a pantry here. That's back to the front door. A broken wire shelves in there. Um, these are nice wood cabinets. Looks to have soft clothes with the granite, stainless steel appliances. I don't think they're new. Yeah. Nice pass through window out. Fair amount of cabinet space. They are 42 inch uppers, goes all the way to the ceiling, like I said, with the crown molding. Plenty of room for your fridge. It's nice and clean. And again, the tile, this tile all matches throughout. This could also be 
a second dining area. That's kind of how they set this floor plan up. Whatever it is with Florida, they feel like you always have to have about three different places to eat for some reason. So nice size living room again. This is the traditional L shape in the 70s and 80s and even into the 90s. The crown molding is nice. This is your master. Again, the matching wood floors all in the bedroom. Big master, uh, that's a king bed, nightstand, dresser, a wardrobe here. Do got a chair in the corner. And then this is your same wet tile, what we call wet tile. Master vanity. So this is still a tub shower combo. But they did do new tile all the way up to the ceiling. And walk-in closet. And a linen closet. Not a huge walk-in closet, but it could probably be reorganized a little bit to give you some more space. Beautiful master sliders from the master. You can see your pool from bed. Now that's a big mirror. And I'm gonna go back out the pool bath door just for the ease. Pool's been resurfaced. It's got the nice bubblers and the, at the bottom here, these little bubblers, those are nice to have. Keeps the water circulating. It's definitely been redone, resurfaced. Got some sunning area around the pool. All this nice under truss area. And let's go look at the yard. No pool heater. They've cut the piping off or a pool heater would have sat here. Looks like it's a salt water system. I think they said they just put a new pool pump in. This is what the side of the house looks like. It's got a solar heat up here in lieu of an electric heater for your pool. So this is what the backyards look like down the canal. This, na this neighbor doesn't have a pool. So there's looking back to the cage. Nice wide canal. This is a good water system for sure. And there is that one big lake. Like there's a pontoon, there's a pontoon. Kayak, a little fishing boat. And there's some more of the solar heat for the pool over here. They must put it on the west side of the house. That's a lot of piping for that pool. A little bit of erosion. You can see some erosion here. Nice, four nice palm trees back here. You got your Robinellis around the cage. You've got two or three nice palms in the front yard. The screens, you know, showing some age, but there's not ripped or anything yet. That one's being replaced. I guess maybe a squirrel came through it, they said, but I mean, you can see when the sun shines through and the reflects this and so those are showing the age again biggest concerns the age of the roof on this property and it's priced accordingly for a quick sale